everyone, I hope you all are doing really well and have had a wonderful start to this new year. I, for one, am enjoying 2015, except the last two days I spent sick on the couch with a really sore throat. But with my new Christmas gift that my honey got me, I am well and all better because I didn't think that I would be able to turn around this quickly. So I'm gonna be talking about what I got for Christmas in today's video. I know it's a bit late because, well, pretty much everyone I know, my husband included and his entire family, got sick around Christmas time, like the day before Christmas. So we had to postpone our Christmas celebrations until New Year's Day. So it hasn't been that much fun around here. Pretty much my husband knows me better than I know myself and got me a ton of Harry Potter themed items to get my spirits pumped for our trip to Harry Potter World this year. I took a quiz on Pottermore to see what house that I would be sorted into because I'm just really curious. And it turned out that I was a Hufflepuff. You don't really hear that much about Hufflepuffs in the movie or the book really, I feel like, but there was like a whole synopsis on like who you are as a Hufflepuff, like what your qualities and all that sort of jazz are. So he got me this awesome scarf and he got himself a Slytherin scarf. I don't know how cold it's gonna be in Florida to actually wear these, but I'm very excited to be dressed in my house colors. He also got me this really awesome Deathly Hallows necklace and I've always wanted one, but what's different about this one and the other ones that I've seen, the Elder Wand and the Resurrection Stone that's supposed to be the line and the circle in the the middle, it actually spins, which is really interesting. And the last Harry Potter item he got me was a bunch of books. These aren't the seven Harry Potter books, but these are other books that are, I guess are being talked about in Harry Potter. It's Quidditch Through the Ages, Tales of Beetle the Bard, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And I think Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is going to be a movie soon, I hope, or a new book series. I'm not entirely sure. I need to read up on that, but I'm excited to read these. I've read Tales of Beetle the Bard. It's a really quick read. You can finish all of these in like a day. This next gift I am super excited about and I've been curious and wanting them for a while now. My husband got me some doTERRA essential oils. Now essential oils you're like why do you need those? Are they essential for some reason? I was always really curious about them and I've always wanted to learn about them and it was something I never really researched on but I was really curious so I took a class and I was like oh these are awesome. So he got me some for Christmas and I got the family physician kit. What the family physician kit is is that it comes with 10 different essential oils and they're all geared toward like medicinal purposes. Pretty much any Anything that you would need in your medicine kit is what this is. It didn't come in this pretty little pack. I had to buy that separate. It came in this really big box and it told you everything about the essential oils, like what was in them, if there was a blend or if it was a single oil, what you can do with them. I've been using these in my beauty routines morning and night and it's like transformed like pretty much the way I feel. My mood is brighter and I use these to kick my sickness. I had a really bad sore throat so what I did was add two drops of lemon and two drops of on guard, it's a blend with like five or six different oils used to kill germs and viruses and sickness and all that stuff. In a shot glass with some warm water and I gargled it three times a day. And let me tell you, by the end of the night, I didn't have a sore throat. I could swallow without it hurting. I could like yawn without it hurting. I absolutely love these oils. So you're probably gonna be seeing me talk about them in future videos or in beauty videos, but I know that they're sort of expensive and a little like out there. I'm not gonna be focusing a lot on them, but just like, you know, every now and then I'm just gonna like throw one in there just in case you guys are curious about that. I love them. And they smell amazing. And this is my little travel kit so I can like stick it on my purse and bring it with me everywhere. My husband thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, oh, do you, do you need an oil? Cause I brought them. He's like, you brought them? And I'm like, yeah, I brought them. I'm not gonna leave the house without my oils. One last thing my lovely husband got me for Christmas was Movie Pass. He actually gave this to me early because he bought one for himself and we are big like movie buffs, I guess. But we wouldn't go to the movies very often because uh, they're so expensive in LA. They're like $14 a person to go see a movie. Not 3D or IMAX, like a regular movie. So what Movie Pass is, is that you pay, it's $30 a month and you can go see one movie every single day for like the entire month. It's crazy. For us, you pretty much go twice and it's paid for itself. This is how it comes and it's like a little pamphlet, it tells you all the instructions, what to do, how to set it up, and it's pretty much a credit card. You download this app on your phone, you reserve a ticket, you go to your theater, pay with this, and that's pretty much what it is. It's really simple, really easy. So this year my husband's family decided to do Secret Santa, which is awesome. It makes you like focus on one person and get their present right. And my Secret Santa knew me so well. It's my husband's sister and she got me some really cute things for my kitchen. First of all, she got me this really awesome cookie jar. So it's turquoise. I'm trying to turn my kitchen turquoise just like the rest of my apartment. Now I feel like I need to have cookies on the ready like all times just 
to use this thing. She also got me these really cute stacking measuring cups that match my cookie jar. It's just like a little mini version. How cute is that? So what these are is that they're measuring cups. So the top is a quarter cup and you just like scoop it up. This is a third of a cup half a cup, and then one cup. What I really like about these is that I can leave them out on the counter. I really like having cute decorative things out that are just pretty to look at. It just make my apartment so much nicer to be in when I have cute things to decorate them with. So pretty much anyone who knows me knows that I love drinking tea or any kind of hot beverage. I'm always cold and like hot drinks just taste so much better than cold drinks sometimes. Even in the summer, I always start my day off with a hot tea. I don't know why, it's just like habit. It just wakes me up in the morning, just like, okay, you can start your day now. You've had your tea. My mother-in-law got me this really cute afternoon tea. It has 20 tea bags and it looks like a double-decker bus from London. And plus, when you're all done with the tea inside, it turns into a little bank. How cute is that? So I'm really excited to try this. And if I don't want to use it as a bank, I think I could just put more tea in it. The next tea-related item I got for Christmas was this really cute pack that my husband's Nana gave me. It has chai tea, awake English tea, and then white mocha coffee. But I think my husband's gonna like that more because I don't really like mocha coffee. It's just not my, it's not my jam. <laughs> it's not my jam. Oh gosh. I'm such a dork. It came with little jams and you guys know me, I like anything miniature. So when I'm all done eating this jam, I think I'm gonna like spray paint it and put like some really cute things in here. So those are all of the items that I got from other people. But when I did my Christmas shopping, there's like all these deals going on and I just like had to buy a few things for myself. But the one thing that I got myself for Christmas, which is awesome, I've been wanting it forever, is this faux leather jacket from Forever 21. This thing is amazing and it fits me like a freaking glove. Whenever I try on jackets, it's not just like leather jackets, but like all jackets. They don't really tailor to my figure because I'm either too small in areas or too big in certain areas. It's like the weirdest thing and they don't make them in like a small enough size for me. But this one came in an extra small and it literally like hugs the curves that I have in places. This thing is really awesome. It's just like a very classic plain leather jacket. It has a few zippers. These are real pockets if you're curious. Oh yeah, look at that. I haven't actually opened the pocket until today. Got some silica gel in there. Stay fresh. But what does annoy me is that when I'm sitting in the car, it's a little too tight to like drive around and I feel like I'm in a straight jacket. So I usually take it off when I'm driving. But I love this thing. It seriously hasn't left my side all month. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I really enjoyed sharing what I got for Christmas this year, so why don't you guys let me know in the comments below one thing that you got that you absolutely loved, that you've wanted or you've asked for. It doesn't have to be from somebody else. You could have gotten it yourself. It doesn't really matter as long as it made you happy. If you guys are interested in anything that I got and you want to purchase it for yourselves, I will leave the links down in the description box below for the things that I know that you can buy online. And I will see you very soon. Bye.